Hi, my name is Anjali and I'm a Raffles student from Faculty of AI and Robotics. I work on CT image segmentation for my final year project. It took over six months of research, coding and implementing all the necessary elements into a user interface before it was presentable as a working prototype. The project was actually an idea from an industry collaborator and since there is no similar existing solution, my professor and I decided that it would make an interesting final year project and could potentially provide an actual contribution to the medical technology field. The goal was to come up with an automatic segmentation tool using unsupervised method to segment specific areas such as the bone, lung, airways, and vessels from a CT scan. This is how the user interface looks. First, we have open file. Here, when the user click on open file, it's gonna ask the user to load the medical image that they want to segment. It's going to go through every slice. It's going to automatically go through every slice of the medical image and automatically segment each part. So, for example, as you can see in this, for example, as you can see in this page, we have summary, and here we can also click plot. So this will plot the bone. This is how the bone looks like. So if the users are feeling, if the users want a closer look to each of these parts, they can go to the respective tab. The first tab is the bone, and users are allowed to make changes of the central point as they like. You know, if I click apply, and the mask will be automatically updated, but if they want to re revert to the default value, they can just click on the default buttons. And this function will work the same for every every other tissue and organs. This is the outlook for the lungs tab, the vessels, the airways, the airways, and the vessels. Well, most segmentation tools out there relies on subjective and manual segmentation, which can be very time consuming. Automatic segmentation is hard to implement since medical images are not linear. So the parameters that work on a medical image won't work the same on others. We tried finding a way around it using unsupervised clustering algorithms that gives users an option to automatically segment every slice of medical image in a shorter period of time. I've used clustering algorithms such as k-means and fuzzy c-means, Python and graphical user interface libraries, PyQt5. Machines are better at analyzing pixels in an image, so when we have an AI that knows exactly what it should look for, what slight changes in pixels that are considered abnormalities, there's a higher chance for a more accurate diagnosis. Diseases like the lung cancer can be detected at early stage, and this can increase the survival rate. It definitely can assist medical professionals in diagnosis process, making it easier and faster for them. Dr. Sasa has been incredibly helpful to me throughout my studies and he's really passionate about the subject he teaches. He's always answering any question or doubts I might have and had gone through a great length in helping me in my subjects. Some of the things I learned is managing my time to make sure the project was able to wrap up in time and I got a better understanding of the process of software development. I think AI and robotics have been really helpful in some major aspects of life since AI technologies are used in applications like security and safety measures, quality control, and as demonstrated in this project, AI has also given contribution in the medical field. My advice is to not be intimidated because I know the subjects like programming, deep learning might seem foreign at first, but it gets more familiar as we go from scratch to higher level.